Alright, bow constrictor update number four. Hypopara head number one and my hypomotley female who's tucked over there. You can barely see her on this bed sheet. Let's see if we can pull her out. She acts like she's a badass, but really, she's not. Acts like it, but not really. Beautiful stripe. Came from Mike Wiseman, as did the uh, Hypopara at number one. And like I've been trying to say in making these videos, um, she's going to be going to a Salmon Jungle Head Sharp. Other Hypopara is going to a Hypo Motley Head Sharp. Hopefully hit on some Paradigm Paraglow Jungle Motleys or some Sharp Sun and Albino Jungles and Motleys. But, yeah. And my Hypo Motley 50% Stripe Ghost. She is going to go to a Ghost Motley, which will be coming after the Hypo Jungle Motley Head Sharps. And hopefully to produce some Ghost Mo Ghost Supers, Ghost Super Motleys, and Area Super Motleys, Hypo Super Motleys. You never know with the Super Motley combinations. I mean, hearing some bad rumors coming around the Super Motley combos. But still, still want to make them. Still want to do it. And... Still happy to try. Still love the Motley gene. Motley's my favorite gene. <laughs> love the jungles, but Motley, I definitely like the Motleys more. And as you can see, she's got that fat stripe going from the middle of her body all the way down to the very tip of her tail. Just beautiful little snake. Doing very well. Both are friendly. Both are starting to get some size in them almost at that year and a half mark when they start getting their growth spurts and yeah yeah now you guys can see that look at that and it's already going over just beautiful bull snakes gonna be ready for the 11 uh, 2011 2012 breeding season and hopefully gonna make me some cool babies uh, yeah that's I mean with the bow morphs that's gonna be the second part of my business along with their tick and ball python morphs gonna do those two but those are coming after I finish getting some of these other high-end boas. Right now, boas are my main concern. And I don't want to say exactly. I put a number on this. But I'm trying to get to 32 high-end boas by my birthday in March. And I will put money on me doing that. And I'm not talking low-end boas. I'm talking very, very high-end boas. Because, I mean, breeders have told me numerously quality over quantity. And so far, I mean, for doing this for a little, like a little under a year and a half, I think I'm doing good on the quality part. I mean, a lot of people, even the professional breeders at a year and a half, didn't really have anything special. But, I mean, those guys, I mean, back then, they were the people who made all the special stuff. But, yeah, bow update four. Look at them. Oh, who's a mean little snake? Are you going to get me? Oh, you're not going to get me. Just love the super motley head. Let's see if we can get, a, get that a little clearer. And love what the motley gene does. I mean, just color contrast stripes going through the body. Nice pinks and reds and oranges and browns. Beautiful snake goes up the stripe to some octagons. Coming back with another stripe, another few stripes. And then up from the tip of the head, that nice line coming from the head. Just beautiful. Love her. And plan on getting quite a few more Hypo Motleys. No more Hypo Motley Poss Heads. All Heads something. And you guys are going to love that. But sticking to these guys. Because I know I get carried off talking about Boas. Because I don't know man. Boas kept me off everything. And make me love everything I'm doing now. But as you can see with Sandy. My first Hypo Para Head. She doesn't have that nice caramely pastel color. As the other Hypo Para Head. Which, which leads me to believe that she most likely is Het Sharp. Other one is Het Caramel. And let's see if, I mean, you can see that right there. I mean, it's hard to see. We'll see if we can get a closer look in there. It's going to be hard to see that. But, I mean, you can definitely see a different color, like a pastel looking color compared to her. But still love them both. All these snakes, the 12 I have right now, will never leave me. And that is a promise. One more thing I want to throw in there, guys. This doesn't have to deal with these guy, these two right here. But the Salmon Jungle Head Albino, which I just got a few days ago, in which you guys just saw him eat. Beautiful little guy. I don't know why my camera's acting up and not come with better quality. But he is going to get a new lady so we can get some snake stuff. 
Gotta edit that out. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> but he is going to get a 2004-2005 albino female for this coming season. And most likely, he probably won't be 100% ready. So I'll have to start breeding late summer and try to look for some babies in early January, maybe February. And hopefully hit on some sun glow and albino jungles and some more salmon jungles and jungle head albino. And then most likely if the jungle double head's ready, he'll, I'll try to put him to her too. But I mean, if he doesn't seem up to two females, then he'll just go to the one and Jane will have another year to mature. But yep, yeah, guys, this is going to be it for boa update number four. Still got a few more bows to go. Jane was supposed to be in this one, but she is in shed right now. Let's take a little peek and see what she's doing. And I don't know what her deal is lately, but she has been getting a little bit more aggressive. Every time I spray water in there, she just starts throwing her mouth open and striking. But all right, guys, I will see you next time. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And let me know if there's anything you guys want to see, anything with rodents, snakes. Uh, if you, I mean, if you are looking for anything in the future from breedings, or if you want frozen rodents to be sent to you because the racks are getting built and the rodents are going to be picked up and there will be plenty left from wholesaling to the retail pet stores. Alright, thanks guys. This is Taylor signing off.